Uh, talk to us about your fight, uh, which you're calling your last fight in Italy. Everybody's interested to know um, about the details and, uh, you know, everything going on behind the scenes. Yeah, it's a fight I've always wanted to do, uh, just do something in Italy. So, uh, and I figured I'd take the opportunity now before, uh, before I retire to uh, get, a ch get a chance to fight uh, in Italy. I've always wanted to do it, so I, I think uh, now is probably the best time since uh, there's always been budgeting issues in the past. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to ask you, you know, everybody talks about how uh, open you are. Angel Garcia is somebody who's open. Um, he talked about the Floyd mayweather Gennady golovkin fight. He said that he thinks it should happen. Uh, do you think that's a fight that should happen, that Mayweather and Golovkin should meet at 154 with all the tangibles that go into weight? So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess if, 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 it's, if it's a makeable fight, I mean. At 50, I don't think Mayweather should go up above 154. I think he's been up in a lot of weight classes. I think 154 is probably where you cap him. But, um, you know, he started his career at 130 pounds, so it's it's a difficult proposition to take on all the 154 pounders. We even saw Sir Gray Leonard when he went up to super middleweight. He took on Donnie Lalonde. He didn't take on uh, an Iran Barkley or something like that. So I, I think, you know, picking and choosing once you reach a lot of weight classes, isn't it, Mayweather's not the first guy to do that. He won't be the last. It's nature's nature. Size matters. Would it be the biggest fight in all of boxing? Nah, I don't think it would be that big of a fight. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I think Mayweather's too undersized to fight Golovkin.